Me Grimlock no see Dinobots. Me Grimlock only see Glacial Bots. Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a third party company, it's Fans Project, and their retro future Glacier Lord combiner set of the Glacial Bots. And this is Tusker, the leader of the team and obviously the largest one. Uh, he is the main body that the others go to. So if you don't know what this set is, again, it's an homage to the G1 Transformers uh, combiners and kind of picks up where the Beastmaster, or Beastmasters, the Headmasters and Targetmasters uh, kind of left off and you get these little Beast Rider, Beastmaster guys. Uh, and it's just really cool. So it's really just kind of a lost combiner set from the G1 era. And most of the packaging is very, very much in line with that. Uh, let's take a look at the box. We'll get this guy out and uh, see what we think of him. So again, a lot of the distressed uh, artwork. I love it. He looks like he's been sitting in a window uh, of a store or something for many, many years. I've actually got a couple figures that are like that. Um, yeah, I love the faded out uh, image. The distressed artwork looks really cool. He turns into a mammoth. Of course, we have the styrofoam inset. Uh, which is very awesome, very cool stuff. Um, here's the side of the package of Tusker in his robot mode. Again, I love the detail on the distressed packaging. It just looks amazing. Here's the other side that obviously was not in the sun. It is his mammoth mode, looking really, really cool. And then the back of the package, here is Tusker. He forms the main body of... Um, Glacial Lord, and we get um, some really cool artwork. Again, this is the same artwork that was on the back of Mega Zero, and uh, it, you know it's just an homage to that old school box art that we had, and I really love it. There's Quadruple U, and we've got Code and Smart Robin. Now the the cool thing that I'm really digging is notice we've got the uh, was it Croc or I can never remember what his name was. Uh, one of the Headmaster Beasts and mind wipe another headmaster beast. Are we gonna get some more headmasters? Uh, that would be awesome uh, if we do. So very cool stuff. And then at the bottom of the box, this is a bonus of coolness. We get some cell shots of what would have been their G1 cartoon uh, representations. So here we have um, Tail Club and Tusker in cartoon form. Very awesome. We've uh, got, oh, I'm sorry, that's Mega Zero. That's Tail Club. Yes. And then we have uh, Fangro and Razor Spike looking very Decepticon, very Combaticon looking. Uh, reminds me of Swindle. And then we've got, uh, of course, Glacial Lord himself uh, giving the thumbs up. Everything's going to be okay. So that is very cool. I did, really did like that. And look, it's sad, baby. Um, very cool stuff. So let's get this guy out of the package and see what he comes with. All right, so here we have Tusker uh, out of the box in his styrofoam, looking all kinds of cool. He does come with a um, little chest plate for uh, Glacial Lord. Here we've got his little rider, again, looking very cool and distressed. Really do dig that. Um, very cool stuff, a little Tusker. Uh, very neat. Now, again, this kind of goes along with the same fashion that uh, the distressed uh, packaging artwork continues on the inside flap. Very nice. And again, some of the stickers are applied, some of them are not. Uh, very cool. Kind of fun. And uh, here are his instructions. He's a little longer than the others. And then on the flip side, we get how to form Glacial Lord himself. So that is pretty darn cool. Uh, really, really digging that. So let's get this guy out of the styrofoam and think what and see what we think of his beast mode. All right, so here we have Tusker in his mammoth mode. Now, little Tusker, the little robot, he does fit in the mammoth mode um, 
while, uh, you know, you can snap him up just like all the other ones. But uh, he fits, like, inside, and you really don't see him. So I didn't even bother to put him back in there. But he does fit in there. So if you don't want to take him out and have the little robot, he does store inside the big mammoth just like all the other figures. So that is pretty cool. Uh, just kind of look at him really quick. He's kind of this weird pinky organ color. Um, which is very, very strange. Um, yeah, and it's kind of funny because his he's got another head. You can use this head when uh, you put him in the robot mode, which I'll show you, or he's got a flip-up head, uh, which is basically that, that is in a better scale uh, than, than these guys. But uh, it does have some drawbacks, which I will talk about. So we'll just throw him to the side, take a look at the mammoth mode. Um, I do like it. It's pretty darn good size. Uh, he does have quite a bit of articulation. His uh, tusks do move up and down. His trunk has multiple joints, so you can get him to uh, straighten it out a little bit and kind of move it around. His legs really don't move. There is a joint uh, here, but it doesn't really move in this mode, nor do his back legs. Um, he's got his stickers and everything. Uh, the chest plate kind of forms the hump of the elephant or uh, mammoth, I guess, here. Uh, he does have some eyes, little blue eyes. He looks very sad to me. Uh, again, this kind of pale pinky color is kind of strange, but okay. I would have preferred, I think, that be the dark gray. I think that would have looked a lot better than this pale pinkish color. But overall, I really do like him. He's very big. He's very blocky. He looks most definitely cool, but he doesn't have a tail either, which is kind of sad. Uh, maybe that's why he's so sad. Are you sad because you don't have a tail? So um, let's get the box out of the way here and let's show off all of the beasts together. All right. So here we have all the glacial bots for the first time ever in my bedroom. So yeah, there they are. How awesome is that? Uh, so you can see that Tusker is quite a bit bigger than the others. And that's pretty much uh, par for the course with these old style uh, G1 combiner toys. They were all like that. Um, the arms and legs were always a lot smaller than the main body. And I like how they continue that. That's very cool stuff. Um, now, I think that all the appendages can switch around uh, just like the Scramble City style. I'm pretty sure that is the case. Um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's get this guy in his uh, Beast Rider mode and see what we think of that. All right, so here we have Tusker in his Beast Rider mode and looks pretty darn cool. Uh, basically, you flip... There's a little panel right here on the uh, shield. You just flip that down and you can insert uh, Tusker in up there, looking all cool, sitting atop of the world above his mammoth. I do like that. Now, one thing I didn't uh, mention, he's he's got these missile racks underneath. And I'm going to tell you what, as a kid, those would have been rocket boots. He would have been just blasting off. I thought that would have been really fun as a kid. But overall, I do like it. Again, my biggest complaint is this ugly kind of putrid pink color. I think that would have been a lot better if it was that dark gray color. Um, I think it would have been a, a, a better look, but I didn't design the toy. So how does he look with his partners? Okay, so here are all of the Beast Riders together. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention uh, in the last bit that I did, Mega Zero. Um, you can get his neck to fit around uh, his little Beast Rider's head. You just kind of have to fiddle with it so it doesn't look as bad um, as it did in the review for Mega Zero. So it, it will fit if you fiddle with it. So that's kind of nice. But here they are, all of the Beast Riders together, looking very cool. Again, I just love the concept of these guys. I like how they're kind of like headmasters. They're kind of beast masters. They got this beast rider mode. Um, just really cool stuff. I think it's a great concept. I think they executed it uh, pretty well. And if you're a G1 fan, you're going to love this. Absolutely. Uh, so let's get Tusker in his robot mode and see what we think about that. All right, so here we have Tusker in his robot mode, and he does look pretty decent. There are some drawbacks to the figure, um, which I'll talk about. Now, here he is in his little head mode. Um, 
I'll show you the the large head mode here in a second. Um, yeah, so there you get his weapon. He's got the shield. Now, the one thing I will say, he's got kind of this rocket pack thing going on back here. Um, and that just feels a little bit fragile to me. Um, it just makes me feel like it's going to break off. But overall, I do like the detail on the figure. I like the size of the figure. He is pretty darn cool. Um, let's take a look at his alternate head and see what we think. All right, so there he is with a giant flat face. So you can flip that piece up right there so you can use the little face or you can use the larger one. That kind of, I mean, it looks better, I think, um, overall. Now, his snout trunk, whatever you want to call it, the trunk turns into an ion blaster. And then the back hump kind of turns into a shield. And he's got kind of this big rocket blaster thing of flight on the back, which is kind of cool, uh, I guess. Uh, pretty neat, pretty solid. Again, the biggest issue is this piece back here just feels so weak, feels like it could possibly break. Um, so let's get all the robots together. So we have a little robot family. And as you can see, Tusker towers over all the other glacial bots, as he should. Um, pretty cool stuff. I mean, that face is a little goofy. The, the, if I can, see if I can, ah, ha, ha. He just, his little pursed lips, and I don't know, that color. It's just very strange, very odd, but it is definitely very G1 looking. Um, so yeah, there they are, the glacial bots. Um, very cool stuff. I would definitely, like I said, recommend picking up if you are a G1 fan, if you're, let's see if I can even focus here. Uh, if you are not a G1 fan, this is not the set for you at all. Um, because they're not that cheap. They're, they're a few hundred dollars for the whole set. And, uh, personally, I like it. I think it looks really, really cool together. Um, I can't wait to get this guy into, uh, uh, combined form to make Glacial Lord. I will do a separate review on that itself. So thanks for watching guys and uh, thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs it down if you hated it. Leave a comment. Leave a video uh, response. Um, subscribe. All that kind of good stuff. And as always, look for more videos in the retro future.